So, this is, it, it, female genital mutilation. It's generally a bad thing. You know, if a particular woman decides that she wants to have something done to her body, it's her body. I'm not going to say people can't do what they want with their own bodies. But it, 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 adult men are hacking bits off of girls. Prepubescent girls, even. Now, granted, there are many different practices all over the world, different customs, but this is not the kind of thing that I would want to see being imported into the USA. But it is. It has been. And it continues to be. So... The, the Department of Justice, President Trump's Department of Justice, on April 13th, announced a national campaign to eliminate the imported practice of female genital mutilation, which I think is good, a really good thing. It's kind of a big deal, I think. Other people could think differently, but it... It seems to me, and I could be wrong, but it seems to me that this is the kind of thing that feminists, people who actually care about the welfare of women, would be talking about, would care about, would be mentioning. Now, I'm only one person. I don't hear everything. It's quite possible that there are lots of feminists talking about this. I just haven't heard it. It's possible. But... But, I ain't heard it. Granted, I have not heard much of anybody talking about this. The announcement on April 13th, of the, that's the 13th of this month, um, was... Uh, there was this doctor, this Muslim doctor in Michigan, who hacked bits off of young girls who are brought to him by their parents. And he's being charged with a crime. Kind of a big deal, I would think. I would think. But um, New York Times thinks differently. They ran a 637-page uh, Word article on page A14 in which they uh, did not mention the doctor was Muslim. They said... Um, he was a Michigan doctor. Right. Lovely. That tells you all there is to know, don't it? Mm -hmm. Michigan doctor. The Washington Post ran a 760-word article um, about a Detroit emergency room doctor. Uh, you know... The only people on television who've been talking about this is Tucker Carlson, who, who has been called all sorts of things by people who claim to be pro-feminist or pro-female or pro-choice or pro-women, calling him a misogynist, an anti-choice, an anti-feminist, anti-woman, and yet... It, If you actually care about the welfare of women, this is a big deal. This is something to talk about. So, talk about it. Comment below. Make your own videos. If you know feminists who are talking about this, give me a link to them. I'd like to hear what they have to say. If you disagree with anything I've said, talk to me. Let's debate. Let's, let's talk. So talk, comment, and like, share, subscribe. Pass this around. And...
Have a nice day.